A protest is happening right now at Minneapolis City Hall and will continue through the night. David Schumann shows us the tents that activists are sleeping in tonight to send a message about how the city treats people experiencing homelessness. Protesters set up tents Sunday on the steps of Minneapolis City Hall. It's where they plan to sleep. We stand in solidarity with our brothers and sisters. The mini encampment is a response to the city evicting people experiencing homelessness this week from encampments of their own. Young Eagle, who until recently was without housing himself, was there when police cleared the area. People were given, I believe, about five minutes to get their stuff and go. People left behind possessions that they desperately needed, papers, medications, cell phones. The protesters want a city moratorium on destroying encampments. It is disgusting to treat people that don't have a place to live as if they're criminals. The city says one of the cleared encampments west of downtown was creating health and safety issues. We talked to multiple people who live very close to here and they were mostly glad the encampment's gone. One man told us he would see a lot of drug use here and he feels much more comfortable now. But activists don't see evictions as a solution. They believe funding permanent housing should be at the top of the list. There's public buildings that are being unused that could be, you know, turned into public housing. There's empty lots that could be built upon. There could be sanctioned encampments and harm reduction services. The city says most of the people at the encampments declined the help of resources or a shelter. But Sunday night, there were only two shelter beds in Hennepin County available anyway. In Minneapolis, David Schumann, WCCO 4 News. There will be a supply drive starting in the morning outside City Hall to help the people who were evicted. Activists say they need bedding, sleeping bags, warm clothes, and tents.